Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you three really fun, healthy recipes that you can do with a sweet potato. Yes, they're also all chocolatey, which I didn't really realize until halfway through. These are fantastic for your health, incredible for weight loss, low calorie density, and they also happen to be potato reset friendly. So if you are embarking upon a potato reset and you want some really fun recipes to keep you going, I definitely recommend checking these ones out. Anyway, let's go and do this and make some delicious sweet potato recipes. So the first thing you're gonna need is obviously loads of pre-baked sweet potatoes. So if you don't know how to bake sweet potatoes to make them ooey gooey, what I like to do, give them a quick little rinse, stab them with a knife, I think that's optional though, put them in the oven, I do 180 degrees Celsius and I do it for about, depending on how many sweet potatoes there are in there and the size, between one and two hours until they're literally like, ooey gooey caramel like squidgy and just like oh my gosh this tastes like cake in and of itself especially once you have reset your taste buds and are eating a whole food plant-based diet these are incredible so um i'm gonna try not to eat all these while i'm making the recipes <laughs> okay so the first recipe that we are going to attempt to make together is sweet potato chocolate cookies yeah, I know, you heard me. I'm just as excited as you are. First, we preset our oven. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this recipe quite basic. You can add a little splash of maple syrup if you choose. I'm not gonna do that this time around. Okay, I feel like there's enough sweetness from the sweet potatoes. Okay, so we are going to just quickly peel some of these sweet potatoes. I think these are quite small ones, so I'm going to use two of these like small little sweet potatoes, but if you just had one medium one, that would also do the trick. And, um, I've been fancying cookies since I've been doing the potato reset. I've been doing the potato reset now for nearly two weeks, which is super cool. I'm still loving it. Not bored of potatoes yet in the slightest. Um, but I really fancied some cookies the other day. And I was like, how can I turn a sweet potato into cookies without having any flour, no oat flour or anything? Mm. I went to go and have a look in my pantry and I found instant mashed potatoes. Yeah, I know this sounds really weird, but it's basically just potato flakes. Um, and there's nothing savory in here necessarily. So I decided to add a little bit of this to make my cookies. So I'm not exactly sure how much I want to add yet. So we're gonna be doing this together, guys. Okay, I'm starting off with a quarter cup. First, let's just give this bad boy a little bit of a mash. Okay, quarter cup of potato flakes. And while I'm here, I'm also just gonna do a tablespoon of cocoa powder. We may go in for some more. And I always do vanilla, so I'm gonna do a nice capful of vanilla as well. Like I said, you can do a little bit of maple syrup and or a little bit of salt in here to kind of bring out the flavors, but I don't want to overstimulate my palate as much as possible. So I'm gonna keep it on the rather basic side today. Let's give that a nice mix and then we may need to add in some more of the potato flakes because that is going to act as almost like our thickener and our binder here because we obviously don't have any flowers, we haven't got any flax or anything. So that is our dry ingredients. So this is definitely also more of like a soft cookie. This is not going to be like a, a crunchy kind of vibe, uh, but you know what? That's perfectly fine. I love a soft cookie actually. Let's give it a little taste test. Mmm. You know what? That in and of itself is like brownie batter. Um, it's kind of like the brownie batter that I make using oat flour all the time, but instead of oat flour, it's potato flakes. Um, I think, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more potato flakes in here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with like half a quarter of a cup, so an eighth of a cup. Okay, so now that we've got this kind of thick batterish consistency, yum, mm. the potato flakes give it such a really yummy texture. Mm. Okay, now let's make our cookies. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this messy silicon baking sheet right here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form this into two separate cookies. Oh, look how malleable that is actually. You could definitely turn this into like, um, almost like a fudge or something and stick it in the freezer maybe. That could be quite fun. I'm gonna make these a little bit on the flatter side so they actually cook. Okay, these are gonna be gigantic cookies. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, 
cooking. You can obviously do tinier cookies, but I'm going big. I'm going big today. And I'm also not worrying about them being too perfect either. I like them a little bit on the uh, artisanal side of things. Let's go and stick these bad boys in the oven. So my plan for this is I'm gonna do it on 180 degrees Celsius and I'm gonna do 15 minutes on this side. Then I'm gonna flip them over and do another 15 minutes and let's see how they turn out. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna show you guys how to do is a sweet potato hot chocolate. This one is going to really hit the spot when it's like a cold night and you're wanting something a little bit snuggly to snuggle down with. This is gonna be your best friend. Okay. So please excuse my messy blender. It had sweet potatoes in it and I'm not gonna wash it. So let's just do this. So I'm gonna go for one teeny weeny sweet potato. Look how ooey gooey and caramel you guys. Okay, so it's just over a quarter cup of sweet potato -y goodness. So, here we go. Okay, so everyone does the potato reset slightly differently. I do allow myself a bit of soy milk for my morning teas um, because I'm British and I need tea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the same principle in terms of milk quantity to this hot chocolate that I do with my tea. So I've just got my little mug that I'm gonna be having my hot chocolate in and I'm gonna measure out the water, which is going to be about mm, four fifths of the mug and then I'm just going to do a final splash with the soy milk. There we go because we obviously don't want to get loads and loads and loads of plant milk into ourselves when we're doing the potato reset but I think a little bit is all right. But you do you if you don't want to add plant milk then that is absolutely fine feel free to just go with water. Now you can then take this any direction you want to. I'm a massive fan of peppermint hot chocolate. So I'm gonna go in with a few little peppermint drops to give it a nice little burst of fun, sweetness and flavor. Mm, these are potent, one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna blow my own head off, but let's do it. Oh my God, I can smell the peppermint already. That is gonna be amazing. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Actually, you know what? I'm fancying a little bit more chocolatey. Let's go tablespoon and a half, see how we get on. Right, then we're just gonna give this a really lovely blend until it's smooth and silky. Okay. Oh, that is smelling absolutely amazing. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, I tell you what, the sweet potato adds an incredible thickness. I need to show you guys this. Oh my gosh, would you look at that, this. Oh my God, this is gonna be a total game changer. Oh, <laughs> that is amazing. Mm. Now, obviously, if you need a little bit more sweetness in your life, feel free to add a bit of maple syrup. My taste buds don't need that at the moment. I've been doing potato reset for two weeks and the potatoes alone have so much sweetness in them to me, but obviously you do you. But I don't know if you can tell the thickness that we're talking about here. So it's like, oh my gosh, look at it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bring it up to you. Look at that. Look at the thickness of that. Mm. Well, that is hot darn delicious. Okay, let's go to recipe number three. Okay, last but definitely not least is going to be chocolate sweet potato fries. I've just realised that all of these recipes are chocolatey. I apologize. These are for the chocolate lovers out there in the world doing the potato reset. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna get one big, nice raw sweet potato. We are gonna chop this bad boy up into really nice, thin fry shapes. I always check for bad bits. This one seems to be looking pretty good though, fantastic. Oh my God, this is actually really hard to do with the baby on your back because it requires a lot of like movement and strength <laughs> and I don't want to rock wrong around too much. Oh gosh. Okay, so I've sliced them like about a centimeter thick and then I'm just gonna do really long strips because I enjoy a long fry. Okay, so this is what you want, long, thin, little sweet potato strips. I'm just gonna chuck it in a bowl so I can mix everything together. Now I usually do this cinnamon style, but I created this recipe because I fancied something chocolatey and I also wanted a sweet potato chip. So this is actually just perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of cocoa powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. Now, okay, this one does use maple syrup. It's totally optional. You obviously can have a bit of maple syrup on the potato reset, 
but it's less for the sweetness, but more for the crispy texture that it gives the sweet potato. I have tried baking it without it um, when I did cinnamon fries and it wasn't the same texture. So we're just gonna use like a tablespoon of maple syrup, but feel free to um, not include this if you really don't want to. Um, just be aware it may change the texture somewhat. Okay, then we'll just give this a really lovely mix. And yes, you do get very nice. Covered in chocolate. There are worse ways to be. Okay, so you really want to make sure all, all the chips are like super nice and coated with the stickiness of the maple syrup. Otherwise, they get a bit too dry and they will probably go a little bit burnt with the uh, cocoa powder in and of themselves. Okie dokie. Okay, so look at that. Co nicely covered and coated. Now, obviously, you can bake this in the oven or you can put it in the air fryer, which is what I'm going to do because I find it so much easier. Oh, oh yum. Okay, whack those babies in. Some of them might be a bit too long, in which case you obviously can cut them in half. Okay, and then we're just going to put this on at 180 degrees again. We're going to do 10 minutes and we're going to check on them, give them a little mixy mix and then give them another five minutes. Okay guys, so Romy has woken up, so I no longer have a baby on me, but everything is ready, so I want to show you everything that we have made. Okay, so these chocolate fries are pfft, incredible. Um, and they took about 15 minutes in the air fryer, depending on your sweet potatoes and your cutting skills. They may take slightly longer or slightly shorter amount of time. But I know they don't look like much, but they are coated in chocolatey goodness. Mm. Oh my God, <laughs> they are amazing. They are so, so flavorful and so sweet. Mm. Oh my God, that's incredible. Mm. I know they look burnt, they're not. Um, this will really satisfy that chocolatey craving. Trust me. Okay, then our cookies are done as well. I must say, they are looking incredible. Look at those bad boys. Oh my gosh, they really hold up so nicely, actually. So I ended up doing 15 minutes this side round, and I turned them over, and I ended up doing, from, doing them for about 17 minutes because you love cookies. Oh, I think Romy wants one. <laughs> I'm going to give her one of these instead. Here, I'm Ron. You tell us what you think. Is it nice? <laughs> <laughs> you little cute munch. Well, if kids like it, that's always good news, isn't it? Okay, so back to these cookies, and I haven't tasted it yet, but let's do it together, shall we? Mmm. Oh my god, that actually has got crunch. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh wow, that is a great cookie. Okay, guys, I feel like this tastes like it's got dates in it. How is that possible? Mmm. Power of potatoes, people. Oh, amazing. Okay, to summarize, potatoes are incredibly versatile. You can basically do anything with a potato. You can do big fat cookies, chocolate chips, and a hot chocolate. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this fun little recipe video with all of the things that I like to do with a sweet potato that are obviously chocolatey. Um, fantastic for your health, brilliant for weight loss, low calorie density, good stuff. Um, and these are lovely little treats for when you're wanting something a little bit on the sweet side um, when you're doing a potato reset or just in general. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go and, uh, and eat these now. <laughs> <laughs>